What up, that's your boy Shaka Tweezy from Mesh.com and here we go with the new video and today make sure you guys subscribe and hit the notification button because we're going to teach you exactly what the pros don't want you to know. Other than that guys, make sure you guys check out our offensive and defensive guides from Mesh.com that are definitely going to help you guys win games and don't forget to like the video and comment so that you guys can be winners every week on our weekly giveaways. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and bring to you guys a, a new formation. I did show you guys a running play yesterday, which is the RPO glitch from the Ravens offensive playbook. I'm going to show you guys another glitchy run that you can use here to just abuse uh, the hell out of your opponent on head-to-head -head, uh, mud or head-to-head -head regular regular teams. Uh, some of these plays might be banned in tournaments, so make sure you're aware when you use them in tournaments for money that you need to know that if this or is you're able to use this in the tournament or not, uh, because there are some plays that are banned because of the way the game plays. Anyways, this is the QB wrap. I did show you guys the RPO glitch last time we combined it with that. Uh, I like the RP. I don't like the RPO glitch. Uh, glitch from here. Uh, can I use it here? I could use it, but I don't like it, so I like to use the QB wrap instead, which is a gun spread DBL flex from the Ravens officer play. But we're gonna go ahead and select that play, and you could run it as is, guys, and just try to get down the middle and try to run. Just follow your blockers, and you'll see that you get really good blocking. You get like around four to five yards uh, with a with a quarterback, especially with Lamar Jackson, which is pretty fast. You just follow your blockers there, and then hit turbo when you hit the gap. But other than that, I want to go ahead and enhance the blocking. And to enhance the blocking, we're going to motion this guy to the inside. Hike the ball right on the, on the slot and just follow the block and look at that. So run to the, try to get to the outside as much as you can. If not, run down the middle and cut to the inside. Other than that, I always try to get to the outside. Hike the ball right on the slot. Notice the blocking is very good. I got stuck there. But uh, the more you practice, the more you better reads you make as you practice this play. Uh, the better you're gonna have a chance to just get outside so uh try it out let me know what you guys think of this oh man i almost had a touch on there i had a really good blocking there so i like to motion this guy i guess uh, i guess when i motion this guy it's the blocking is a lot better so hike the ball right in the slot see there and I, and I almost got to the outside there so just say i like a couple guys to beat there in the game you could always take it to for a touchdown and try to get one more time see if i could take it to the house and, and just hike it there Look at that. Just take off. Almost, almost, almost taking off there. So, uh, we, they had really good pursuit on me there. So, this is a nice little run. Like I said, this is a nice little annoying run to to integrate into your your into your into your scheme. If you're running the Ravens offensive playbook, no. Now remember, the player who is AI Nash was running a triple option out of this and doubles out of this imagine running a good running game with him with with this playbook and then adding all these little glitches here that you could add to your game to make you more unstoppable it's just very annoying guys it's definitely a good playbook to use if you want to glitch your opponent guys so again warning if you watch this and you use it warning make sure it's, they don't ban you from tournaments so you use it make sure it's uh within the rules so that you won't get banned all right so we'll see you guys later